शांति 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 स्वामी विवेकानंद जी वाओ यस so why is this message still relevant well first the question is what is swami vivekananda ji's message he had many messages but the core the core of his message was stand up stand up fearlessly and serve not fearlessly in a pathological psychotic sort of way but fearlessly as in the dharma we spoke last night about dharma being that which protects well dharma protects us dharma is that which upholds and protects so if i'm standing up for dharma if i'm protecting dharma dharma will protect me so stand up fearlessly and stand up for he spoke so much about a resurgence a resurgence of india and of course that was you know 150 years ago but the resurgence is even more needed today and it's a resurgence of the traditional the deep culture of india When we talk about Sanskriti and Sanskaras, it's a resurgence of that. We've lost, we've lost so much of our connection to that as we've gotten brainwashed and indoctrinated into believing that, you know, the highest life, the best life, is a life in which I make as much money for myself as I possibly can, in which I've got the highest possible post, in which I've got the biggest possible house. But it's a resurgence of our of our culture that says abundance is not building a mansion while others live in shacks. Abundance is not eating caviar while others starve. it's a resurgence of the real deep connection to this culture to the heritage to the land to these to these ancient yet timeless teachings and truths that say your abundance your fullness your wholeness your completeness comes not in how much you can get but in how much you can give not in how much you can acquire and attain but in how much you can serve stand up for that stand up to serve values and ethics integrity honesty this is what our world needs today so desperately if ever if ever we needed real light real fearlessness in having integrity in living with integrity in valuing values rather than valuing valuables this is the time i mean it's always the time but right now i think i think we stand upon a precipice a literal one not just a spiritual one i mean the spiritual has brought us into the literal in which if we don't wake up because of course in order to stand up you have to wake up he didn't mean sleepwalk to stand up you have to wake up so first we wake up and then we stand up for for truth for our connection with the world for this beautiful beautiful teaching of vasudev kutumbakam which means the world is a family which means that how i live what i speak what i eat what i buy what i wear the choices i make are ones not only for me but they're ones whose ripples move throughout the entire world 
and Vivekananji taught, really, we are the ones. We are the ones we are waiting for. And the youth particularly. Not the next generation, but the now generation. And India today is about 65% youth, which means almost anything and everything that we think is wrong in the world, that we'd like to fix in the world, we actually have that power. We speak so frequently about a global food shortage and a global water shortage and a global land shortage. But we actually don't have any of those. Yes, there are people dying of starvation, tens of thousands of them. People dying due to lack of clean water. People dying due to lack of fertile land but that's not because there's a shortage of the food or the water or the land. It's because there's a shortage of consciousness. We have a global consciousness shortage. And what Swami Vivekananji emphasized was wake up, stand up, fully conscious of who you are, what the world is, and what your role in that world is. And when we stand up with that, then not only is there a resurgence of values, of culture, of all of that, but there's actually a resurgence of self. And that's where we and the world in which we live are so deeply connected. And so at this beautiful time of his his birthday celebration, let us recommit ourselves, whether we are Indians, whether we are Hindu, whether we are of any religion, of any culture, of any race, of any religion. Swami Vivekananji took this message to America. stood in Chicago, spoke to the people of America, whom he addressed as my sisters and brothers of America, because the message is universal. It's not about Hinduism, it's not about India. That culture is a, is a universal culture, and it requires every one of us to wake up and to stand up. And when we do that, fearlessly, in protection of dharma that then protects us, then we, we are reawakened, a resurgence of the self, which of course leads to a resurgence not only in the country, but a resurgence of light, of truth, of oneness, of peace, and our whole world.